एवरीवन वेलकम टू वरना गार्डन आई एम वंदना टुडे इस वीडियो इज नॉट एन अपडेट ऑन द हाइबिस्कस सीड लाइक बट इट इज रिलेटेड टू हाइबिस्कस इट्स एन अनबॉक्सिंग वीडियो आई फाइनली टुक द प्लंज इट्स अ लीप ऑफ फेथ एंड आई ऑर्डर्ड एक्सोटिक हाइबिस्कस ऑनलाइन सो दिस इज फ्रॉम अ नर्सरी कॉल्ड परमेश्वरी हाइबिस्कस नर्सरी एंड दे सेल ओनली हाइबिस्कस प्लांट्स सो यू हैव कॉमन टू नॉट सो कॉमन टू रेयर एंड एक्सॉटिक वंस सो दे इम्पोर्ट एंड दे क्राफ्ट एंड दे सेल इट इन वेस्ट बेंगाल सो ऑल द वे फ्रॉम देर हैज कम नाउ बिफोर वी प्रोसीड अ कपल ऑफ इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स टू कीप इन माइंड दिस इज जस्ट एन अनबॉक्सिंग वीडियो ओके आई हैव नॉट सीन the flowers bloom i trust the seller to have sent me the plants that are going to bloom true to their ids that have been mentioned this is the first time i've ordered high risk plants online and it's not like typically you know you go to a nursery and buy a potted plant or one that's in a poly bag with at least a minimum height so you have a certain expectation and when i saw this it was a little different okay look at this it's come only in this and i have ordered five plants so my expectations have been set that these are very very small plants so let's go ahead and open it and see okay so this is how the package is it's in a cardboard it also has a couple of holes and so the plant is able to breathe Here we go. Okay, so, so here is one which says orange red. I put the picture for reference. A couple of leaves are dry, but it's okay. The stem is uh, intact. Hibiscus are hardy plants, so if a couple of leaves are withered, it's okay. This is seven C's and it has a bud. Can you see? I hope it remains intact. Okay, this one is. Woo! My favorite! Yippee! Cherry Appleosa. Oh my God! I I love this plant. I love this plant. I can't believe it. I'm holding it. Yay! Cherry Appleosa. Wow. This is Taiwan Dancing Queen, a very very exotic uh, wide flowering plant. Here it is. And then the last one. Okay, this is another one Tahitian Sun Roser. This is also very very beautiful blue. Here they are. I am so happy. I am super, super happy. One thing: don't be disappointed with the way they look. Okay, I, I understand some of them might look withered and you know frail, and it's not a typical hibiscus that you would buy at a nursery. But you need to keep these things in mind that hibiscus big plants cannot be shipped. Otherwise, you'll have to pay a huge price for shipping. They will be in such small little. uh poly bags and you'll receive it this way and keep in mind that these are exotic hibiscus and it will take a while for them to grow in your garden so it's better to buy smaller plants if you're getting it from elsewhere or you know if it is available locally yes you can just walk up to a nursery and pick it up but because i'm ordering it from a different uh, place i'm okay i've set my expectations and i know this is how it is going to be i'm also very happy that i got a little bit of soil from west bengal so yay i'm going to be mixing it with a little bit of my uh, karnataka soil so now what i'm going to do the next course of action is i'm going to spray epsom salt water to all these plants and i'll keep it in the shade for about 2 3 days and i'll see how they fare some of the leaves might dry and they may turn yellow i'll just cut them off and i'll just wait i'll perhaps uh, you know add a little bit more water and make sure that the stems are intact in place 
and then I will be transplanting them to a pot that is of uh, this a small pot itself and I'll wait for these plants to get root bound so it's going to take a couple of months okay I don't, I don't expect any buds initially but I'll keep you updated be on the lookout for important updates on my YouTube community tab so it's easy to post photos and you can follow and keep a track there or if you are on Instagram be on the lookout for my stories I'll be sharing it almost on a day to day basis these are rare and exotic hibiscus not the common ones so you will not get them at the price that you get for common hibiscus I would recommend that you reach out to the seller directly and buy the plants you can see the, their Facebook pages and uh, some of the comments have the price tag for the flowers. Uh, they are more active on Facebook. Uh, I'll also put the contact details. The owner's name is Krishnain Dugiri and uh, it's with him that I interacted and bought these plants. And I'm very very happy with my purchase. Well, that's it everyone. I can't wait to cross pollinate these with my seedlings by the way. I have ordered a total of 5 plants and only one plant has a bud so hoping that when the flower blooms it will you know convince me and reassure me and I'll be more confident to promote and recommend the seller but keep in mind that this is just an unboxing and no flowers are there in these plants yet. Thank you for watching my video everyone. I will see you in another video. Until then happy shopping and happy gardening. Bye.